What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Bet you can't guess where we're at. We're in the truck of Parker. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. How you been, Parker? Pretty good. Staying busy. Two years in the business now. Yeah, it's been two years already. What can you tell us about being a veteran of Matco tool sales now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning every day. Um, I don't know, I'm still having fun doing it. Still learning all the new products. I still see new products from Matco. I like jumping on other Matco guys' trucks and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, still staying pretty busy. Um, still enjoying it. How was the tool show? It was fun. That it was your first one, right? Uh, this will be my, so last year I went to Vegas. And it was fun, but Vegas, that was the first time I've been to Vegas. And first tool show. So it was kind of a lot. This year was in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot more. Yeah. A little less in your face with the casinos and stuff. So, How do you feel about, I see you're all stocked up with the Milwaukee. How do you feel about the changeover to get in Milwaukee? Um, I'm glad they finally did it. Just because most of us were already doing it. So <laughs> it's now just, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, no, it's, it's gone over good. Um, I wish we could be a little closer competitive price-wise. I've been trying to kind of do my own deals on my truck to kind of stay in the market a little bit better. But, right, helping guys out. That would be my biggest complaint with Maco Milwaukee partnership is that some of the stuff's a little crazy. So You're definitely well stocked up. I got, I got a little carried away at the show. <laughs> I mean, you're... People don't understand, but to get this way in two years, uh, I mean, just Milwaukee, uh, you got a lot of, oh, what's this over here? We even have the, the new grip edge. New grip edge. So I guess I'll show the RBRT stuff so we can kind of show the RBRT. Trade in, boys, trade in. Trade ins already. So we got the RBRTs. They're the exact same as the grip edge. I don't. I haven't seen all of what grip edge has yet, but pretty much identical for yeah. design. Absolutely. You don't really. You, and you know what? The out the uh, overlying out profile is a little bit nicer. I like. I don't know. The 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 rails nice. The green is. At least you can kind of yeah, see them laying there. What do you? Uh, what's the prices like? I'll have to look real quick. I just got them in this afternoon. So. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll leave a we'll just yeah we can do a link in the description or yeah, something. Yeah, we'll put a price to them. We've got a couple coking things in double wobbles. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So, coking. You're going deep on the coking. Well, and these I've been a pretty firm believer in since I saw them come out. The they just have a little ball detent to hold the fastener in. Yeah, the Coke and uh, uh, these uh, uh, nut grippers are no Great. better way to grip your nuts. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, so you can use aluminum, stainless, plastic, mild steel. Right. And it'll it'll retain anything in there. Better, sure. better than magnetic. Yeah. Especially my body guys, I think, that are starting to work on the Tesla stuff and more aluminum stuff, Fords, and all the fun. Makes sense. So yeah. you're getting all sorts of varieties. I also noticed over here, I've never seen this before, but you told me they're selling three-piece sets. Yeah, it's finally kind of a bundle deal in a ratchet kit. So um, they've kind of done these these kits, like quarter and three-eighths with their non-flex head. So I'm kind of excited they're doing a flex head bundle now. Makes sense. Smart, I see you got some. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, the Hey, but... You got the ground. Oh, what is it? A Matco. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Purple's been going over pretty good. This one's gotten kind of dirty. Yeah, you'll have that. Yeah. And the black chrome's actually wearing very well. Is it? It'll just, eventually, if a guy uses it enough, it'll just kind of turn back to chrome. But it's not chipping, not flaking. It's holding up just like chrome. So. Tell me about the, the head kits that. on these things now. So you're... Yeah, so they're updating the locking flex design. Because normally, if you've had a Matco ratchet, it'll eat it up like right in the center because right. that's where it's getting yep. contact so they're going to try to 
broaden it out across the whole gear set now. So that makes sense. Less work for this guy too, you know. Yeah, I've uh, you know that I've had a discrepancy with that for one. Well, honestly, I have like an old Apex Macro Ratchet right. that you like it. I don't have like that's I'm pushing hard. You kind of got to wiggle the head on these new ones. And my other Apex one, it's really easy. Yep, mine so I'm is too. Really anxious for that to be coming back. Yep. That's good. Good on Matco that's for... That's my biggest complaint, I would say, is a couple guys are like, dude, the locking flex is just kind of tight. That's good on Matco for taking care of that. I was going to show you the new... Here's the new half-inch internal. Oh, you got the internals. I got part of it. And so they just made this retention, or this little notch here. Uh-huh. And the videos I watched, it used to put all the pressure right in the tip. And now, with, by putting that little cutout in there, it brings it back in the center. That so makes total I've sense. I've taken a lot of ratchets parts where just that little corner is nicked off there and it's causing a mess. So. Makes total sense. I'm glad Matco is fixing that. And all our new ratchets you guys get from us will have these internals in here. That's perfect. At least in the half. Three eighths is coming and then locking, all the locking flex stuff is coming too. The next thing I'd like to see them do is beef up the handles. They do? Yeah, I'd agree a little bit. I they, did have a guy tell me he put a 10 foot bar on a 30 inch ratchet and it look like a recurve bow no it, uh, i'm sure it bent good but he yeah. said it broke it loose and uh i did have to rebuild the right here he had wallered out the head a little bit but. it looks like this one's actually a little bit thicker than even the 27. yeah we'd have to mic them almost or get yeah oh, i've mic the snap on and they're definitely smaller but i notice a lot of flex in them yeah so Sorry. i don't know i got a bunch of knobs i see you definitely Trades are cheap, but it's perfect for a mechanic to use. And yeah, like that. sell a lot of them. M and P's, and we can go fancy if you want. Right, right. The band file from yeah, Milwaukee. The, yeah, those have gone over really well. I'm disappointed. Matco got rid of the 16 volt. Yeah, I have one item somewhere. I think I'm gonna have to snag that one from you. I I do like this better about the Matco. You just push a button. And oh, it really? Rotates. Where the Milwaukee's still easy, but it's just this you gotta mess with that then, whole deal. I yeah. do like this, so well, I got the belt on, but if the belt's not on, the head actually pops all the way off. That's awesome. So yeah, if Milwaukee <laughs> was smart, they would have sold the three eighths and the half. And right, like just put them more. together. But they wanted to make more money. They gotta make money too, right? <laughs> right, tool companies aren't above. Getting all they can out of you. Uh, the hyper steps have kind of slowed down a little. I think I flooded the market with these, but I see cornwells coming out with. Everybody's got them. Yeah. Now. I still think we do offer the best warranty yeah. as of right now. So. I'm not moving for my Macos. Love the shirt, man. It went up to an inch too. Uh, in the in the hyper steps. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got. The Matco Parker shirt. Are you selling those? Yeah, I got way too many of them. Way too many? If you guys are interested in getting a Matco Parker shirt, let me know. I talked to Coast at the tool show. I love these lights, but I was getting a lot of them coming back. They're getting hot on me. And I kind of said something to the Coast guys at the show, and they said they had two battery suppliers, and one was great, one was not so great. So he's like, put it story short he's like we have one battery supplier now so he's like the new lights you get should be good so i guess we'll find out look at all this i mean dear you how about the uh how about the uh um pro non-slips yeah they're buy one get one they're bu but you can't keep them in stock it looks like you don't have i got a couple quarters left that straggled in on uh, my back order lid oh look at this you also got these Socket sockets. I got those last year at Expo. They, it's a really good concept. But they're expensive. They're expensive, and for whatever reason, my set didn't come with the, the bar you need to run in your air. Yeah, that's baloney. So, ooh, these lights have, are fairly new, and I've been selling these really good lately. Uh oh. They're 1500 lumens. They have the human body detection system. Really? So if you, pretty much if the lens is covered, it'll shut off so it doesn't start on fire. Really? And then, like, if you have the human body t detection system on, 
if you walk away and it doesn't sense you moving, it'll shut the light off to preserve battery. Wow. But then if you walk back in, it'll turn back on. Or like 155 and Whew. 50, yeah, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> but it's full aluminum body, too. I mean, it's built pretty heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's no joke. Yeah. That's I mean, a brick. I probably sold five to eight of them, and every single guy came back and said they were pretty content with them. So. Hmm. Well, that's awesome, man. Strong magnet. I, I got these in again. Spring loaded universal extensions, which I think the spring would be nice to kind of keep it straight. Just been selling. What's your number one seller now? Uh, that's tough, honestly. Drill bits were my go to forever, and now it's kind of. I still sell them, but I, most of my guys have them now. So I would say Milwaukee's been pretty, pretty consistent always since I, you know, since we partnered with them. The jump packs went over pretty good, the lithium ion ones. I was gonna talk too, we talked about this a little bit, but these uh, slip joints are only by, only uh, Matco is the only one that has these now. Like that. These grab nickels better than the new snap-on Do they grab pliers. nickels? I could not grab them with the new snap-on pliers <laughs> and five seconds of these and I picked it right up on the edge. So I was like, well. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the nickel picker upper. The rethreads kits were going over pretty good this week. Uh, I was doing them for like 145 bucks, which is not a bad deal. Yeah, dude, you got a Maxion called me so much, I finally broke down and bought some. Yeah, and they've been going over good. They are a good light. These always continue to sell good. The double box in metric and standard. Got the whole Vim. Them display here. These are new this year too. The, the Matco twist locks are finally kind of Matco twist locks. Redesigned them. They almost look like the Olsa tools ones. Like Mechanics time savers. That could be too, or Vim. But I don't know. They're I think like 46 bucks, which is I think the Snap-on ones are closer to 60. So they've been going over good. Strong enough magnets too. Blue screwdrivers, Honestly, this pink is probably screw. one of my better sellers on the truck. It's a 20 piece back probe set. Yeah. I order them at like 10 at a time and they're gone before I know them. Electrical diagnostics is uh, king of the hill. The groove belts have gone over really well. Groove, all oh, for uh, your actual belt. Mechanic, mechanic belt. Dude, you are definitely rocking and rolling. We should probably. Uh, Start thinking about getting out of here and let you get back. Oh, the flexible. Yeah, these have gone over really well. Yeah, you got a ton of them. French shoulders. It's awesome, man. I'm happy to see you're doing well. And Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm still loving it. And hopefully keep, <laughs> the ratchets, keep on going. The ratchets are plentiful. I got another new ratchet I've been having good luck with. It. So it's locking flex head stubby. I saw those on sale. They're norm yeah, they are. They're normally a quarter, and I can put a three eighths anvil in it. Oh wow! It's so kind of cool. Just that's a mini little gem right there. Uh, my truck stuff, they're super handy when you got tight areas. Right. But I like to be able to lock it because I have another one that won't lock, and it being able to lock like this and use your palm works works good in tight areas. Hell yeah! That's awesome, man. It's awesome. I gotta get up and see it more often. Yeah, we'll have to start doing a couple more videos here and there, and the jerky never never ends. <laughs> Gourmet bris brisket. I think this is probably the tenth or tenth or better one I've taken on trade for. I'll, so I'll leave the demo with the guy, and I, I I'm like, you decide for yourself before I try to sell you on it. <laughs> and every single time, almost they is come back. Is that your back. demo? Yeah. <laughs> That and thing is used. After I let them use this for a week to two weeks, they they always seem to trade. So. Heck yeah. The Oakley display I seen too was... Yeah, I wish rocking. I had... These are these are sweet. The Troy Lee edition. All broke. Troy Lee design? Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh, graphic. They had a new pair. They're called Leffingwells. But they're like a bright blue with a bright gold lens. They're kind of kind of cool. The 2S is already sold, so we won't see that again. Yeah, that's my first 2S that I've, I've gotten on the truck here. So They had some issues with them off the bat, and I did not want to be 
part of that. Stuck in the middle. Um, so I waited for them to, it was just some stuff at the casters and they have completely redesigned it and from what I've heard they've been amazing since then, so. Sweet. But yeah, I, I do, they kind of got away from some of the thin, thin drawers, which I kind of like. Some of my guys this week said they would prefer some thin drawers, but I don't know. Some of the really thin drawers, they're, it's not very usable to me. So. It's hard to get everybody's needs yeah, covered. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And two, we can custom build them if a guy really wants to set it up exactly like he wants it. Guys, don't forget to buy your tools anywhere, anytime from Mavico <laughs> Tools to scrap the stick. <laughs> oh my god. Is that guy pooping really? Oh yeah, yeah that's our app sticker. <laughs> that, that had a little controversy behind it. A couple of our distributors are like, I just don't feel comfortable putting that in shops. And then I was the guy like, tink, 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 putting them all over the place. The app, it is cool. I've had um, the app is great. Some pretty good traction. They're finally kind of starting to fine tune it, where it's starting to work pretty decently. Yep. So awesome. Well, it's getting late. I know you're tired. I'm tired. It's been a long month. So we yeah, have babies coming and. Oh yeah, congratulations. In 10 days about. You guys, uh, Parker, I told, said on the live stream that Parker's got a new, new little one coming. He's got yeah. a baby girl. Baby girl coming, so we're excited for that. So congratulations to him on that. Well, we can show the guys Millie real quick too. Oh you. yeah. They're out playing. Let the hounds in. Millie. Let me get the hounds in. <laughs> That's the crazy folks. They were clean when we started the video. Yeah. There's uh, Millie and Henry. They are just going after each other just fine. So yeah, they're getting along good for meeting for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Henry just ball of joy. Can you guys calm down? Maybe not. How old's Millie? She'll be a year in April. So. And Hen look at how dirty she is. Henry, they just been. Rassling. End up in the bath after this. Yeah, definitely. Well, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Congratulate Parker. We'll see if he wants to uh, sell some t-shirts and we'll... Uh, yeah, let me know. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, next time, too, we could do some little diesel content, maybe. Oh, yeah, we got to um, gotta do that because we're out here at his home place right now. At the family farm today. Family farm. You got the diesel trucks out here? Oh, yeah. At home. yeah, we uh, I, I cleaned up before he came because it was it was a Friday. <laughs> look in here. Oh, dude, after a full week, it's yeah. definitely well, so. Too, it's just been it's been busy, busy lately, so yeah, which is good, I guess. It's better than not being busy, That's right? That's been my best purchase. Like yeah, I, I stole Parker's seat, and I gotta <laughs> tell you, if you don't, if you're wondering if this thing can hold some weight, She's I think certified. Parker it's certified now, so I think it's built. It's heavy. Yeah. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, we got to support Parker for uh, for his kid. He's having his first. Well, this this is a, this is your first. My first. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is his first child. So we want to support him, and uh, we'll try to get some t-shirts sold for him. Yeah, we can maybe put a link in the description. Or <laughs> you, you got a website I, now? I, I don't. Wonder I can need to... can we? We can't link the uh, Maco site, can we? The, um, get, can't get your distributor. Link my number in there. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll figure something we'll out. By the time this video is out, you'll whatever. I, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Just, I'll figure it out. We'll get it figured out. You guys will have to contact me on my email or get you to Parker, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, so. we can sell CP a bulk order or something. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Throw them out for sure. So yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.